All right, real quick, I want to show you the materials you're going to need for the next part of this project, which is the cyclone. The cyclone's going to spin uh, from one side, take the hot air directly out of the reactor, put it in the one side, spin it around, it's going to have to go down to about right here, and then go back up a tube and out the top. Uh, that's going to be basically how we trap some of that fly ash that's coming out and some of the heavier tars. There'll also be a drain spout, this bigger pipe right there, coming out the bottom and into a catch tank, which I'll show you when we get there. So anyways, here's what you're going to need. Just two two-inch pieces of pipe for right now. Uh, you could use any size you determine. Uh, on your vehicle, you might go bigger if you've got a V8. Um, but you're going to need one little chunk here with the threaded end that's going to screw into the barrel of our reactor there. And that's gonna, the other side's going to go into the propane tank. So let me go ahead and cut two holes here in the propane tank. One's going to be at a side angle here pointing in and one out the top. And I'll also in the end end up cutting my third hole with the hole saw in the bottom here. And I'll end up putting all the pipes in real quick. Let me go ahead and get some of those holes uh, cut and I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, we've got two of the beginning holes to make the cyclone here uh, cut out of it. Let me show you real briefly here how that's going to look. Uh, roughly here anyways. We can stick that piece of pipe down in there. Well, bottom's there, so we're going to come up off the bottom a bit. I have it flattened out for a reason, which I'll show you here. Uh, the other piece of pipe here is going to go in like that and come out. Let's get it in there, right? About like that, into the side. Maybe pull that just a little bit more, to kind of add an angle more into the side there. So there you go, basically the cyclone. The other part here is going to go into the bottom, and that's going to be our drain out. That's where the ash and the heavy tars are going to actually drain down to a catch tank down there. Uh, let me get that done, and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, folks, we've got the completion of our cyclone done now. I just wanted to show you dry set sitting off the reactor side. Uh, you'll notice the downspout's now welded into place. That's that red pipe out of the bottom of the cyclone. That's where the ash and the heavy crude is going to settle to into our collection tank down below. And out of the top, you notice that our outspout for the gas out is well in there and welded together. Uh, we're going to go ahead now and put a box off the top of this and go into another collection tank, into a couple other radiators, and I'll show you those as I get them done. Alright folks, we're now done with the next part of this project and I wanted to show you what I've done here. Uh, what I've added on to that is an aluminum hot water heater tank from an RV. You'll see the water outputs up on the top up there. Uh, what's going to happen here is the cyclone is going to put all of its hot smoke straight up through a center pipe inside of this, almost all the way up to the top. It's going to come out of that pipe and expand to the outer chamber, right back down that outer chamber here, and then out through this section right here. Uh, we got a little wind here. I'm going to try to block it or turn here. Uh, so anyways, it'll come out of here. I'm going to open this space up so it's a lot bigger. It's going to go right into a six inch piece of pipe dropping straight downhill because of the amount of liquid that we're going to precipitate out of that smoke due to this uh, water reservoir up here. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and finish that section right now. I'm going to manufacture what I need to hook on there and I'll show you that once we're done with that. Alright, real quick, I want to go over what we're going to use for the moisture catch can. Uh, this is two five gallon oil cans, as you can tell. I've cut the top and the bottom out of one of them, so that way it's hollow all the way through. Uh, this will give me a, a large open area, and what I'm going to do now is open that back up, and in there I'm going to create some half moon baffles uh, that are going to allow for the smoke to come in the top at one side, have to drop down a baffle, back up, down, up, and down, and up, and so on and so on, uh, with a moisture release area out of the bottom here so we can actually get rid of any of the liquids that we do accumulate in here. This is, that's what exactly what this will do. And uh, so anyways, it'll have to come out the top on the other side after going through all our baffles back out of the top. Now another thing that's going to happen is that red pipe there out of the bottom of the cyclone is also going to come down into the top of this barrel. But it's going to come down only a couple inches from the bottom there into the liquid level that's in there. And that'll actually take all the fly ash and then you need a heavy crude dropped by the cyclone immediately down into our crude catch. And then out of the top of the cyclone, it's going to go into our hot water heater tank. Uh, that'll be water cooling on it. A heavy flow is going to come out of that because not only is it water cooling, but aluminum acts as a catalyst like copper does for uh, synthetic gas. So anyways, the, the catalyst will help precipitate out a lot of that extra wood uh, wine that's in there. It'll put it back into the tank. So the output from that will drop back into this tank again, and then we'll have the output finally at another stage out of the end going into our radiator system. So this will basically try to catch 
multiple times uh, all the liquid being produced in the main stages and in the end hopefully our radiators on our bed rails will also feed into this tank so we'll have one large crude catch tank here and uh, wood alcohol uh, catch tank so let me get that going I'll crack this thing open here and show you what we're doing for baffles inside all right real quick here just want to go ahead and show you these baffles before I insert the last two into the other side over here pretty rough on the welding there but this is what the baffle system looks like you notice I've got a, a cutout on this one this is actually the bottom side this is where this is gonna lay flat like this and that's gonna allow for any liquids that build up to roll between each one of the baffles so I can have one outspout and they can all go out instead of having to fill up in each compartment and go over uh, we can get it to go right through and out easily so smoke's gonna come in the top hit against that upper baffle have to drop down, come against this baffle, come up, down, and back up again. So that's going to be the full cycle inside of this can. Uh, this is a big condensing can. This will catch a lot of our fluids. And with the baffling, it will help cool the smoke pretty dramatically. So let me go ahead and insert these two baffles, which is going to look like this. This one's going to go all the way down, just above the bottom here. Probably give myself three inches between the wall and the plate. I'm going to weld that into place there. And this one here is going to go on the bottom, and that one's going to let once again allow my liquid flow through the bottom. And I'm just going to tack weld those into place. Uh, there, our condenser jug is ready to go with its baffles. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, cut a couple hole saw holes, and I'll show you from there.